Vince McMahon announces retirement from WWE. Stephanie McMahon is named chairwoman and co-CEO, along with new co-CEO Nick Khan. Additionally, Paul Triple H Levesque is named WWE EVP of Talent Relations. Hey there, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo, and you're watching the latest. We got some major breaking news here today, and we're going to be having more information coming out as the day goes on. But in the meantime, this is what you need to know. Vince McMahon has officially retired from WWE. Stephanie McMahon is now the chairwoman and co-CEO, along with Nick Khan, who is also the co-CEO. Here is everything we know so far. One of the biggest announcements in the history of professional wrestling was made on Friday as it was revealed that Vince McMahon is retiring from WWE. In a statement issued by WWE on Friday afternoon, McMahon announced that he's retiring as WWE's chairman and CEO. WWE has confirmed that McMahon is retiring from all his roles, including no longer being WWE's head of creative. Vince McMahon will continue to be WWE's majority stakeholder. Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan are the new co-CEOs of the company. McMahon's retirement statement read, quote, as I approach 77 years old, I feel it's time for me to retire as chairman and CEO of WWE. Throughout the years, it's been a privilege to help WWE bring you joy, inspire you, thrill you, surprise you, and always entertain you. I am extremely confident in the continued success of WWE, and I leave our company in the capable hands of an extraordinary group of superstars, employees, and executives. In particular, both chairwoman and co-CEO Stephanie McMahon and co CEO Nick Khan. As the majority shareholder, I will continue to support WWE in any way I can. My personal thanks for our community and business partners, shareholders, and board of directors for their guidance and support throughout the years. McMahon's retirement comes amid a misconduct scandal that was first revealed by the Wall Street Journal. The Wall Street Journal reported last month that the WWE board of directors was investigating McMahon over a secret $3 million settlement that McMahon had paid out to a former employee who he had allegedly had an affair with. In a follow-up story, the Wall Street Journal then revealed that McMahon had agreed to pay more than $12 million to four women over the past 16 years to suppress allegations of sexual misconduct and infidelity. McMahon had stepped away from his chairman and CEO roles during the board of directors investigation, but was still in charge of creative until now. Stephanie McMahon had been serving as interim chairwoman and CEO. Paul Triple H Levesque has a new executive job title with WWE. The company issued a press release on Friday announcing that Levesque will resume his executive position with the company effective immediately. The announcement came with the revelation that Levesque, who was previously WWE's executive Executive Vice President of Global Talent Strategy and Development is now the company's Executive Vice President of Talent Relations. Before becoming EVP of Global Talent Strategy and Development, Levesque was WWE's EVP of Talent, Live Events, and Creative. The press release included a quote from Levesque saying that he's healthy, fired up, and ready to take charge. Bruce Pritchard had been named WWE's Interim Head of Talent Relations last month after John Laronitis was placed on administrative leave amid the WWE Board of Directors investigation into the alleged misconduct committed by Laronitis and Vince. McMahon. Levesque suffered a life-threatening health scare in 2021 after going into heart failure. He announced his retirement from in-ring competition this March. What a wild day it's been so far in terms of wrestling news. There is going to be more to come, so keep an eye out for more videos just like this and additional podcasts. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo. Let us know your comments and thoughts in the comments section below. Additionally, if you guys would like to chat with me about all of this and pro wrestling and anything about that, feel free to hit me up on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. See you on the next one.